Hey friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to make vanilla custard cream, lightened by whipped cream. It's a cream that I use in many of my signature desserts, including Pavlova's sponge cake, angel food cake, eclairs, and you can also just have it on its own or with fresh berries as a dip. To start, we're going to heat two and a half cups of milk. Next step, separate six egg yolks and place them in a mixing bowl of a stand mixer. Next up, you want to mix the dried ingredients and it's going to be half a cup of sugar and a quarter cup of cornstarch and one tablespoon of flour goes into this mixture. These dry ingredients, mix them up the sugar that way you remove any clumps in the flour or in the cornstarch don't forget about the milk keep watching the milk so once that is nicely mixed you just put it into the egg yolk start out low speed and then go to high speed with the stand mixer like this what I always do is I always scrape the bowl either with just a whisk or with a spatula this is ready to go on high speed you will see right now it's starting at this yellow consistency and you will see that it will go lighter in color and it will really grow in size because we are whipping the egg yolks. So I just stopped about halfway through mixing these and I'm scraping the sides again just to make sure that I'm really incorporating everything evenly. So this has been on for about a minute and I think it will take one to two more minutes of high speed mixing. Alright, so this is how it looks. It's pretty much doubled in, in volume and it's become this nice light pale color. Last thing is to add about one teaspoon of vanilla extract and mix it in. The milk is about to boil. Again, we've been watching it really closely, right? And so when it's at that stage where it's about to boil, what you're gonna do is you're going to be pouring it into this egg yolk mixture. And to do that, what I do is I do it sort of in stages because you kind of slowly want to change the viscosity of this mixture. You don't want to dump the milk in there right away. So here we go, this is the process. So you see I lightened it with some of the milk and then I'm going to again scrape the sides to get that thick egg yolk mixture off the sides of the mixing bowl, like this. And now it's pretty much ready to receive the rest of the milk. All right, so I actually let it mix and you see that it got a bit frothier like this. One important thing that I will mention, I actually just did. Before I'm pouring this back into it, I checked the bottom of the pot and I saw that the milk started to um, adhere to it. And that's bad because when you're putting this back in, the one thing that can happen, and it really depends on the quality of your pot, is that it will start burning at the bottom. So I cleaned it before doing this step. This goes back into the pot over the stove. So you see how nice and frothy it is? Like this. So I have the pot set to about medium heat, I guess, on the stove. And the trick is to keep stirring it non-stop as it's heating. And that's when we're basically cooking the egg yolk. That's how we're turning this into a vanilla custard. I'm just mixing it with a regular spoon, but if you have a whisk, it might actually be easier with a whisk. As I'm stirring the mixture over the heat, it's basically turning into the vanilla custard you want to make today. So there you go. So this is close to ready. You are seeing it right at the point where I'm about to remove it from the heat. 
Um, basically, usually what I do is I wait for that one bubble. When I see that one bubble, I know it's basically boiling. And actually, and that's when it's ready. So right now I actually just saw the bubble. So it's basically ready. You Let's catch. You see, there, it's bubbling. So that's when I know it's ready. So then I keep it on for a couple more, like maybe 20, 30 more seconds. Stirring it vigorously. All right, and I'm gonna turn off the heat. And so here we are. Our made from scratch vanilla custard is pretty much ready. Last step is to transfer it into a clean bowl. So I cleaned this bowl we, that we used to mix the custard in and I'm going to be transferring it there so it cools. Last step is to add one tablespoon of butter. Stir it in, it will melt. All right, this smells amazing. It's vanilla, milk, it's delightful. So this made from scratch vanilla custard can be enjoyed as it is. It can, you can use it to dip fresh berries like strawberries into it. But what I actually mostly use this for is I take one to two cups of whipping cream, I whip it and then I put this into this volume and I lighten it. And then that lightened vanilla custard, I use to layer a lot of my signature desserts with like angel food cake, sponge cake, you can fill eclairs with this and so forth. So for recipes uh, that use this cream, please go to the links in the description below or the card up here. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like what you see on my channel, please subscribe. I hope to see you again. Bye guys.